out here so um, I got sent some makeup brushes from wonderlastthings.com to review just a disclaimer I was sent the brushes but all of my opinions in this video are of my own and uh, one of the last things is started uh, by Jorraine of uh, her travel log and she's really nice, she's really sweet and uh, one of the last things um, consists of items that Jorraine herself curated and the pricing of the items there are quite reasonable so some of the interesting items are like currently they are running a pre-order for the Beauty and the Beast uh, teapot set the one with Mrs. Potts and uh, Chip as a cup is really really cute and adorable they also have like a travel log book they have a uh, quirky passport covers um, they also have the mermaid blanket that you guys have been seeing all over the internet and uh, today the item I'm reviewing are the unicorn eye makeup brushes that's just because I'm more into eye makeup but if you're someone who's more into highlight, contour, face makeup they also have a face makeup brush set so you guys can go and check out the site um, I'll leave all the links in the description box below so let's go into the unboxing of the unicorn eye makeup brushes So it looks like this. Super cute and adorable. Okay, I'm gonna like take off the seal. And look, there's a sticker here that says uh, one of the last things. Really, really pretty. And open this up. Okay, so here is the set of brushes, all nicely bubble wrap. And here they are, super duper pretty. There are, let me count my brushes down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 brushes and the pricing I believe is 89 ringgit. So it's kind of like you're paying less than 10 ringgit for each brush. So yeah, pretty amazing for that. And let me just touch the brushes. Oh my god, they feel so amazing and soft. And I'm going to jump into a swatch test of the hey guys, sorry for the noise if you hear any and um, because my family is around and um sorry the swatch video it's not really good, it's my first time. Let's begin. Okay, first up, I'm gonna use the actual brush that comes with the Urban Decay uh, Wise, no, not Wise palette, the spec full spectrum palette. So you guys can see this brush how it picks up. So I'm going with the color Jones and the orange. So it does pick up quite a bit. And I'm going to go with the other side with the same color so you guys can see. Okay. It goes like this. Okay. Next two brushes. It's from the Unicorn brushes. Please don't ask me to name brushes. I'm really, really bad at them. I'm going to start with this one first. I already tested this off just now. Um, so this is the color Paranoia. The brush is very nice and soft and it picks up the color really nicely. But one thing about brushes that pick up color nicely is that you have to wash them quite a bit. I experienced that a lot with my Innisfree brushes. And this next brush is going with the color gossip. Super duper pretty and it picks up the color really well. Very very pigmented. Next, I'm going with this brush. I believe this is like an eyebrow brush. So, I'm going to test it with Alchemy. Here. Okay. 
It's a little bit more powdery, probably because it's um, meant for eyebrows, so it picks up the powder a bit more powdery, but it's still a very nice finish off. And next is this brush. This looks like an angle uh, eyeshadow brush. So I'm going with Jones and we can compare and see how well it does against the Urban Decay brushes. Okay, I'm pretty impressed. So this is the unicorn brush and these are the Urban Decay, the actual Urban Decay brush. And this is actually more pigmented. Very, very impressed. And I'm going with this one and I'm going with the color C's. Very nicely picked up. This is super pretty. And I'm going with this uh, flat, uh, I think this is a flat eyeshadow brush. And I'm going with the color Warning. Picked it up very nicely. However, as you brush downwards, it will appear that the color is more prominent during the first compared to the last. Compared to the other swatches I've did so far, the color remains consistent. So I think this one you it's better for like a blending sort of look. But it does pick up the pigment very nicely. The next is this brush, and I'm going with the color Gold Mine. Gold Mine has been quite a difficult color even for my normal brushes to pick up, so let's see how this goes. Wow, it really does come up quite nicely, but it because of its flatness, I think it's very, very similar to the other flat brush whereby towards the end, it um, doesn't really show up as much, so um, you have to be slightly more careful with this ones if you plan for like a more um, dramatic eye look. Next is this one. I'm going to color... I can't even read the color right now. Um, Clevera? I can't really read it. Okay. Here it goes. Very, very pigmented. Really nice. Nicely done. And the color pretty much lasts almost towards the end as well. Very, very nicely. And second last brush is this other flat one. And uh, we're gonna go with the color Midnight Blaze. This is how it looks. And as you can see, like as with all the other flat brushes, it picks up very well at the start and then towards the end it doesn't really have a good color payoff. And the last brush is this one and we're gonna go with the color I think this is me okay so this is it very nicely picked up so yeah these are the swatches the first two are from the Urban Decay brush itself and the last ones are the unicorn brushes very nicely done. I really really like the quality of these brushes. I would certainly recommend it. Uh, as for the face makeup brush, I will not say anything too much about it because I don't have it with me. I can't attest whether it's as good as the eye makeup brush. But I would certainly recommend the eye makeup brush. It is very worth it. Um, for like 10, you're paying like almost like less than 10 ringgit for each brush actually for like a set of 10. and. You, you can see the color payoff is very nicely done so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this little swatch sorry if I'm not very good at it it's my first time doing a swatch video hey guys back from the swatch video so yeah I am really impressed with these brushes if you guys want a set as well you can purchase them on wonderlastthings.com however for now they only accept uh, bank transfers so sorry there's no credit card payment available yet uh, Jerrine, the person who runs the site, is very nice, very sweet, she's also very friendly. So if you guys run into any issues, uh, you guys can check with her on how you guys may get this item. So yeah, that's about it for this little first impression reviews. I really love these brushes. I'm probably going to use them like a lot. As you can see, I did like a whole swatch on my arm and they're pretty good actually. 
So yeah, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Hey guys, sorry for the not so pretty setup. Um, since I had to wash my other brushes anyway, I decided to try to wash the pigmentation of the unicorn brushes. And I must say, I am thoroughly impressed. Like, it didn't take much of the soap or water, and the color just really came off quickly. And the brushes are still very soft. And yeah. I'm just really really impressed and also remember that wonder last thing sticker that I thought it was a sticker it turns out to be a really really pretty postcard thank you so much to Jorane and Constance for the really pretty postcard Constance is the other co-founder of wonder last things so do go and support them and I will update again uh, when the brushes are like dry so that you guys can see the quality after it washes the brushes have dried and as you can see they are still really 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 soft I am really impressed with these brushes and it's a very worthwhile price I am impressed to the point whereby I'm thinking of getting the face makeup brushes next time although I'm not really super into a lot of contour or highlight but this brush quality is really good for its pricing so if you guys want to get these brushes don't forget to go to wonderlastthings.com everything will be in the description box below so I guess this is the end of it for the review like comment subscribe I'll see you guys in the next video